Hi Leo, welcome, welcome in, welcome to my channel, Elpis Enlightenment. We are doing your monthly February readings, Leos. I went ahead and pulled your cards just so we're not sitting here killing time trying to um, lay out the nine cards. I usually lay out nine cards, three for the beginning of the month, three for the middle of the month, and three for the end of the month. And then I pull some oracle cards from uh, Doreen Virtue called Angel Answers, which, of course, I'm going to go ahead and show everything. I just want to pull one more card here right now for the month of February, what the overall theme and or influence is for you Leos for the month of February. What is the theme or the situation Leos are dealing with? Okay, higher font and something else is under there. And five of wands. Interesting. Okay, so Hierophant talks about um, a relationship, an institution, a community. Um, very much so, I personally think that you, in, in February, are dealing with relationships. And I think that it's going to be more than just one. And I feel as if you might have to be sitting there, you know telling one of these people to stay and the other one to go. Um, somebody you've been dealing with and somebody new that's coming in. Now, as you could see here in the higher font in my other decks is very, very different. But, you know, at the end of the day, we all have a journey and we all need to go on those steps that you see and lead up to that light, which is the tree of life, which is our ultimate happiness and goal. So you are thinking about this because this is the influence card for the month of February. So you're thinking about the relationships in your life and or the situations that are going on, which was a uh, couple by the five of wands. So you might be in arguments with somebody. Or you are arguing with a family member. You're arguing with a spouse. You're arguing with a boyfriend or a girlfriend. You're arguing with a business partner. And you're very competitive with one another. So, you know, it goes along the lines of like, I'm right, you're wrong, or vice versa. Or, you know, that situation's right and this situation's wrong. You know, you're, you're having these like competitive arguments, but they're more on they're on the friendly side meaning like you love the other person but you are arguing your points of view and one of you is trying to win out so i feel as if that the overall in february leo's that's what's going on the at the beginning of the month you've got the 10 of wands but in the reverse so you're pretty much at the end of the cycle so i remember doing your mid-month readings i didn't do january readings because i'm new to youtube so i don't have a viewership yet yet hit that like and subscribe so we can get the channel up and going so everybody can hear these messages that are meant for the leos who are meant to hear it um also just said that if these don't resonate with you of course click off and go on to other readings but also try to listen to your moon sign and your rising sign as they may resonate resonate with you a little bit more closer to the situation going on in your life for February. So you had some burdens and some issues and things that were absolutely exhausting you and you're dropping those burdens. You're like all these luggages that are on this like mule or Torian bull and this person carrying this, you're like, ugh, I'm done, done. I'm done with this situation. I'm done with this person. I'm done with this issue. I don't need this on my back. I, I don't need it. I don't even know why I took it on in the first place. I don't know what all this heavy luggage is doing on me and why I took it upon myself to take these responsibilities. I'm not. I'm just, I'm getting, I'm, I'm offloading. Because the following card at the beginning of the month, you have four of pentacles. I'm going to take my little purse over here and what's left of me, my dignity, my coins, my money, my relationships, my stature, and I'm going. I'm taking what's mine and I'm not sharing anymore. I'm just exhausted and I'm tired and, you know, I've, I've, got, to, I've got to do what I got to do and walk away from this whole entire scenario because you got the Eight of Cups walking away into a different direction. You see this light at, over here? You're walking into that direction. And, you know, this is what you ha are doing in the beginning of February. So, like, just to recap, 
dropping burdens, 10 of wands, taking what you have left and taking it with you and moving on, cutting people out and just walking away. Now, mid-month, you have new things going on, sort of. Let's just get into it. You have Ace of Wands. I suspect there's other things going on in your life. You know, this might be, some, you might have recently met somebody new, Leos, that got you, you know, pretty passionate into the situation. Like, you know, you, you, you like what you see, you know, you, you like the idea or, and, or, sorry about that. No one calls me except for scams. This is whatever. Sorry about that. You're starting a new business, a new company, a new project, something creative and interesting and something that, you know, you're very passionate about. This is mid-month, followed by the Five of Swords, but in the reverse. You're no longer ruminating in your mind over, you know, what was going on in, in the past with a certain situation. And I really feel for a lot of you Leos, this was family related. You know, this could be a brother or sister bringing like some extra garbage into your life that you know, you didn't want to deal with and you just took it upon yourself to deal with it. Or this could be a spouse that, you know, may have brought a third party situation and not in the sense of a um, cheating kind of way, but more like maybe started talking to another person and, you know, caused friction in your relationship or caused friction by adding this third element that was going on in your life. But you're also, it also tells me if we, if we look at on the flip side, three of cups, you're just going to go out and party and have fun and, you know, start what you need to do. Because look at this in the mid month, starting something passionate new, whether that's a creative project or you met somebody new and it's a new relationship, five of swords in reverse. You're no longer going to ruminate and thinking about these problems or these issues. You're like, these birds can go fuck themselves. Go, go away. I'm done. I'm clearing out the cobwebs and these ravens, you know, can sniff out the problems to somebody else's life. I, I just personally don't need to um, deal with it. And also in the bittersweet card, this means winning something, but at a cost. So even though you're right, you might have lost friends or a relationship or something you were sacrificed in the mix of being right. But in the reverse, it for me, it's another card telling me it's like the eight of cups. You just dropped it and you walked away from it and you're like, let this be someone else's problem. I'm going out to party with my girls and I'm going to go have my drinks and have fun. This is like, you know crap for me. I, I don't really need to deal with it. At the end of the month, you have the Knight of Swords. You have messages coming in and rather quickly and they're coming towards you. It could be vice versa, but I see this person. Look at him. He's he's running towards you. Right after that, you've got the wheel of fortune. So, you know, and in the upright position means your luck is changing. It's turning and it's turning in your direction. However, it was coupled with the devil. So, for me, tells me the universe is giving you another shot at whoever or whatever this relationship is. And it's trying to um, give you another do-over in the sense that you don't repeat poor cycles or you don't repeat... Um, bad habits or you know maybe you're the type of person leo where you're just like you you know you get one shot and then you know if you do something wrong and you turn me off we're done we're just done what do i do with you you, you did something really shitty to me like you know by involving a third person or by talking to another girl or by talking to another guy or you know involving your mother or father in our business i'm just turned off i just don't want you know but you know and you're you're allowing that to repeat as a pattern or a behavior and you shouldn't because the universe is stepping in to tell you you know your luck is changing it's turning this it, you need to reconsider who the who the players are in your life leo now um finally you got the ace of cups coupled with the nine of swords these two cards could not be more opposing in my point of view let's begin ace of cups is an offer of love whether that is work, 
you might have gotten an offer for a promotion at your job or finally the love is being shown and given to you or you were offered a relationship by somebody that you have just been snubbing your nose at um, I say snubbing your nose because of the nine of swords you're not sleeping at night because you're thinking about this you're like I don't know I, I really don't like some of the shit that was shown my way I don't like what I've seen I didn't see support from my coworkers. I didn't see support from my family members, the other ones. I didn't see support, you know, from what this guy wants to offer me a new relationship with. So, you know, I don't know if I'm down. You're actually a little bit confused. Now, when I pulled the angel answer cards, I got reconsider. If you believe, because at the end of the day, we all have, you know, free will and if you don't want you don't want and you move on but listen to your intuition what does your intuition tell you you know right now venus and pisces is all about intuition it's all about you know listening to our hearts and what we think is right for us and leo for you guys it's a big deal right now uh specifically so uh venus and pisces is now until the 7th now, on the 26th, Mars comes in, which is, you know, a very aggressive planet. And the next day, you have Neptune, which is illusion. So it's another planet that on the 26th, you can be confident and strong and brash and make a choice. But then the next day, you might be confused or somebody might be trying to confuse you into the matter. That's why, more or less. And then the, the Venus leaves Pisces on the 7th. But in general, it talks about your emotions and your feelings and, you know, removing layer by layer of what's going on in your life. I did put up a video about Venus and Pisces for each sign and what it means to you guys. Go back and listen to that video, Leo, because, you know, you guys really are about to unpack some serious feelings. You're, you're going to look at the relationships in your life and you're going to define them. You're going to say, you know what? I'm no longer interested in flirting. I want a meaningful relationship. So if this person doesn't seem like that to you right now, you're going to discard them. Or, you know, this guy is wasting my time at work. I don't want to hear his shit because he's just in my way. You either, you know, come in and make the offer or move from the door so somebody else can come in. You know, things like that. That's what's going on with you guys. So I think you're going through this quickly in your mind. So, of course, reconsider all your options or reconsider this offer by this person. But if you believe that it's meant to be or not meant to be, you know, listen to your intuition, move forward. Now, I want to clarify some of these cards because these are our monthlies. So let's see what's going on. Um, why is... Four of Pentacles here, please pull it down. Let's take the top card. Four of Pentacles, please clarify for my Leos. Four of Pentacles. Justice, yep. And Eight of Cups. Why is Eight of Cups here? Please clarify. Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. This is definitely about a relationship that you walked away from. And, you know, I really think that the universe wants you to really reconsider it. For sure. And now, the, the relationship could be a business partner. It could be a family member. It could be a love partner. Eight of Cups, when I, well, you know what? Yeah, let me just finish this. Eight of Cups, the beginning of the month for February. Eight of Cups, when I said you walked away from a scenario or a situation or a problem that was going on in January, could very well be from 2019, was clarified by the Two of Cups. Soulmate, couple, relationship. Soulmates could be brothers or sisters. But you also got the King of Swords. So, are you dealing with the King of Swords? Libra? Gemini, Aquarius, this is who you're dealing with, Leo? 100% of those two came out together. Now, I want to backtrack for a second. Four Pentacles, the beginning of the month, where I said you're just going to take your coins or your dignity or your situation or whatever's left over from the, the issues that you were dealing with. You're going to take it and you're going to go, it's coupled by justice. So very much another card, Libra. So maybe you're dealing with a Libra, air sign. Balance. You are trying to restore balance into your life. You're trying to bring, you are trying to bring justice into the situation, but you feel like it was going nowhere or it was, in, it was going like to deaf ears, was falling on deaf ears. That's what I heard, just deaf ears. And I just some had a vision of somebody yelling in my ear and I was like, I was wincing because I was like, okay. <laughs> 
Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here, please? Why is the Ace of Wands here for my Leos? The devil came out again. Yeah, you're obsessing over something. I think that you're obsessing over a specific situation. And you very well may be dealing with a Capricorn also. Because there are two different individuals that are going on. I think there's two situations that are simultaneously happening to you, Leos. So while you're dealing with whatever relationship or scenario that you were having issues with in 2019. And you know, starting off into the year. You're also dealing with something in your personal, personal life. Where um, this could be, you know... A Capricorn that you're dealing with but it, it's a, or you could be obsessing over this new project or this new person in your life maybe you just met a Capricorn this is somebody new five of swords in reverse why is the five of swords in reverse here now remember there's a lot of you Leo so these messages could be for almost anybody please go check your moon sign and your rising and the, the Venus and Pisces, like I said before, those messages might resonate too. Please tell us why the Five of Swords is in reverse. Page of Wands. Yeah, you like I said before, you're dropping the... the you don't want to hear it anymore. You just... Whatever was going on in the past and whatever. Uh, and, and or, you know, you... You're trying to deal with a new situation. You're trying to go out and make certain moves that affect your life and your future. And, you know, you're you're starting this new project, this new relationship, this new something you're trying to manifest. And, you know, you're sort of slowly starting to uh, tell people about what this project is or who you just met or what you want to do. Or, you know, something that's new in your life. It's the Page of Wands. So I feel like you're sending out little messages of, hey, you know what? I'm, I might be doing this and this and that. Or, you you know, you might be sending out, like, messages via proxy through, you know, a kid in the family. Or you're foreshadowing certain things that you want to do moving on so you're kind of putting those messages out there hey you know i'm really passionate about doing this or that and it's like this guy's looking at his walking stick and he's like you know what i'm gonna do what i care about what i'm passionate about and i'm gonna let go of this past crap what is this three of cups here for please please clarify this three of cups please flip out for my leos thank you very much queen of swords yeah you were dealing with a third party person and she very well may have been the ex-wife um, sister, friend, I don't know, Queen of Swords, Libra Aquarius, Libra Aquarius and Gemini, she is, you know, a little bit in your business, and she's giving her two cents, and she's just a little bit that's just annoying you, you're like, all right, whatever, what, why do I got a deal, just go, Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Please clarify the Knight of Swords. These messages. So somebody from your family and or from this person, this relationship you're dealing with or and or partner, they're coming in with messages and you're being berated by messages. It's keeping you up at night. So you're stressing over this relationship. This is why you got the devil and probably twice because you're obsessed over this now. Now it's become an obsession and you're not sleeping and I thinking about it going over and over again. You're telling yourself, oh my God, am I, did I make the right choice? Did I not make the right choice? Should I have said this? Should I have not said this? You're, you're really just going over and over again in your head. Now let's see. Let's clarify all this business at the end of the month. Um, the wheel, please, with the devil. One more shuffle, I heard. Okay. The wheel here with the devil. Woo, thank you. Hmm, the chariot in reverse. Yeah, something is in a stuck position. Something is not moving forward. It's, it's like as if you're making it stuck. It's like as if you're stopping your own future from happening, your own luck. Like, let the fuck go, Leo. I mean, 
I love you guys. I'm a fellow fire sign. And I know I could just tell you this because I'm speaking from the heart because I do love you and you know that. You're not letting it move forward. You're you're getting the, your own luck stuck. And that's probably exactly why you got the wheel where the, the universe is trying to make things happen for you. They're trying to change your luck. And you got the devil and I was like, why would these two come out together? I don't get it. And then when you get the chariot in reverse, it is because it's you. You're, you're ruminating over this situation. You're stuck. It's like you're not making a choice or you're repeating a poor habit or a bad habit where you just keep going over and over and over again in your mind. Um, and again, here's two other opposing cards. How do you get the Ace of Cups, which is an, uh, an offer of love, coupled by a Nine of Swords, which is this card over here? Let's see. Last but not least, let's clarify this at the outcome position. Why is Nine of Swords here with the Ace of Cups? Please clarify first. Thank you. You got the five of wands again. The one where I told you at the beginning of the reading when we pulled the influence card. The five of wands over here. Came out again. But it came in the reverse. So. You're going to drop the sticks and the stones. And you're going to realize, you know. None of this is going to hurt you. you. You're like, I don't need to compete for any of this crap. I don't need to explain myself to anybody. I am number one, number one in my world, and I will find somebody that sees me that way too, and I will find my number two to join me. And I will drop all these burdens and all these things and all this competition and all this crap because it's not necessary in my life. Now, I know that there's a sort of, a, a sort of, an element of confusion because when I was doing your re your reading, I was going like this. I was feeling a little dizzy, like I was going like a seesaw back and forth, and I was swaying. And I was like, "What? Why am I swaying?" And I know that you know a lot. I, I felt right away that couldn't make a choice. Couldn't make a choice. Like I was repeating it, like I had Tourette syndrome. I was like, "Oh my God, what's going on with Leo?" <laughs> And then I see the devil cards and then the nine swords. You're up at night. You're ruminating. You're obsessed over the situation. You can't make a decision. And listen to your intuition. It won't fail you. Venus and Pisces is here until February 7th. It's those feelings. You're confusing your feelings with your mental thoughts. You're trying to make a wise choice versus what your heart is telling you. You know, if you believe in what you're saying is right, that's it. Just make sure you reconsider all the offers on the table. And I think when I see this reconsider card, you know, I see that the universe is trying to blow the winds of time of luck in your favor. And, you know, the devil over here with you being stuck, I think it's trying to give you that opportunity. You know, maybe this person is true love. Maybe this is this working relationship is the golden ticket. I know that you were dealing with some shit. That's what's confusing you. Because you were dealing with third party situations or, or you were dealing with whoever this lady is. But, you know, you're, this guy, which may be an air sign, it could very well be your soulmate. Could very well be your working partner. Could very well be if this is your older brother and you had a family situation worth fighting for. You know, reconsider. Listen to your intuition. So that was your monthly reading, Leos. Please come back for your mid-months. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon.